Hi guys, Max from HollandAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, Android P, probably Android Peony, is now available for all the Pixel devices. Pixel, Pixel XL, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL. I've got it installed on my Pixel 2 XL, working really well. Let's go and install it together. All right, this tutorial will work on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I have all the files for it, um, but I'll be using Windows. But I'll have the command substitute you'll have to use uh, for Mac or Linux. Now, if you're on stock firmware, there's a way to update without losing your data. Uh, for everybody that's not on stock firmware, um, for example, you install a custom ROM, it will erase everything on your phone, right? Um, just know that. Uh, I would make a backup anyways, just in case sometimes things go wrong. Um, so go ahead and power off your phone. All right, and you're gonna put it into fast boot mode. So go, to, go ahead and hold down volume down and the power. This is the same for all the Pixel phones. All right, let go of all the buttons and connect it to your computer uh, via the USB cable, all right? And next, let's go to our computer. All right guys, first thing you wanna do is um, go ahead and download the appropriate firmware um, this is the Android uh, preview. And I would actually go ahead and also download your factory images uh, if you want to go back to 8.1. Uh, you can also find this on this page here, um, the actual official firmware. So go ahead and download both, 8.1.0 in case you want to go back. And also go ahead and download uh, Android P preview. Now, you do not receive OTA updates. So when preview 2 comes out, you'll have to use the exact same method. Um, but the method is pretty much the same. So go ahead and download the one. Since I have Pixel, Pixel 2 XL, I've downloaded this. And also you need fastboot.zip. All right, so those three files are basically fastboot.zip and your firmware. This one is for, for the Pixel 2 XL. And also you need USB underscore dot zip. You only need drivers for Windows. If you are using Mac or Linux, you do not need to download the cert file. You just need fastboot.zip and time and ptp1. Now, if you're using an older version of fastboot, make sure you download this latest version. Um, if you don't use the latest version, it might not work or you may end up in a boot loop. So go ahead and download the latest one here. I just updated fastboot.zip for all the Mac, Windows, and Linux. Go ahead and double click and unzip all the files and you get a folder called fastboot uh, with all the files you need. Next, also go ahead and unzip the firmware file. We go ahead and extract all files, extract. This will give you all the firmware files you need, basically the radio, bootloader, and the image file. That's the only three files you really need. All right, uh, when that's done, you're gonna go ahead and copy over uh, the bootloader, the file starting bootloader, image, and radio. All right, these two files, you're gonna go ahead and copy and go to your download folder, go to your fast boot folder, go ahead and paste it in here. All right, so the three files you need. Um, obviously the file names might be different depending on which pixels used. Also, you know, if you're reinstalling 8.1 Oreo after you try the preview, file names will be different. But they all start with bootloader, image, and radio. That's the important part. Um, next, go ahead and open up a, a device manager if you're using Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and skip this step. Um, but if you did not install the drivers, you'll have an Andro Android with an exclamation mark like this. If you do have it installed, you'll see an ADB interface installed. Um, if you see this, go ahead and uh, also unzip USB underscore driver. If you unzip it, you get a folder with USB underscore driver with the driver files. All right, go back here and update the driver um, choose browse my computer for my driver software choose let me pick from a list of device drivers on my software uh, computer make sure you follow this step exactly i'm um, also show all devices hit next go to half disk browse and go into your download folder and usb underscore driver choose android underscore win usb dot inf hit open hit ok choose android bootloader interface hit next close Hit OK, close. It should give you Android bootloader interface like that. If you see that, you're good to go. You have proper drivers installed. All right, next, go ahead and open up a command prompt by typing mm -hmm. CMD in your search bar. And you're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter, CD fastboot, hit enter. And you're gonna go ahead and type fastboot, space, flash, space, 
boot loader space boot right boot and hit the tab key and it will fill it out for you all right so right boot and then hit the tab key and it will fill it out for you hit enter all right and it will write the boot loader all right if you see okay okay you're ready to go so the next one go ahead and type fast boot space reboot dash bootloader all right, that will reboot you into the bootloader. Next, go ahead and type fast boot space flash space radio space. Type radio and hit the tab key, and it will fill it out for you again. All right, hit the arrow up key, and it will, you will be able to go back to the previous commands. Arrow up, arrow down. Um, go ahead and choose fast boot reboot bootloader. Hit enter again. This will reboot back you into fast boot bootloader mode. Next, you're going to do the last step here. Um, go ahead and type if you're not if you don't want to lose any data and you're coming from stock firmware um, Go ahead and type fast boot space update go ahead and type image and hit like that Now if you're coming from a custom ROM, um, you'll have to wipe so you'll have to add minus W All right, otherwise if you're coming from stock ROM, I'm um, stock rooted um, you can just go ahead and do that all right and like I said the image Type image and then go ahead and hit the tab key and it will fill it out for you. All right, hit the tab key. Hit enter. And this will flash the actual system and data. And it should actually reboot itself. And when you reboot it, um, you should be good to go. All right, guys, my phone rebooted. Um, you can see I came in on, on the Android beta. All right, I didn't lose data because I didn't use the minus W option. If you use the minus W option, um, you should be back on the welcome screen. Now, if you do downgrade back, I'm not sure if you can keep your data. I don't think you can, um, but you can go ahead and try it. My best advice if you're gonna go ahead and downgrade it is to wipe, to use the minus W option. All right, you can also just update. If it doesn't work, you can go ahead and um, reboot into factory recovery. Let me show you how to do that. Um, and do the wipe after. All right, go ahead and hold down volume down and the power. And go ahead and go to a recovery mode. All right, sorry, my phone's a little dirty here. And when you're in the recovery, go ahead and hold down the power up and then the volume up. And once you're here, go ahead and choose wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes and reboot, that's another way you can wipe your system uh, after, all right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. As always, stay on Android P. Click here to subscribe.